How you going everybody, welcome back to another guide here for Black Desert Online. Today we've got the Crogdalo Wind Set gear for horses. Now in my opinion this is the best gear to get due to its 5 set effect. You're going to get 5 AP to 10 allies including yourself for 60 minutes, which is good for node wars and also the uh, grinding. Now the way the video is going to work, I'm going to have it in order from easiest materials to get to hardest and I'll have the timestamp below for you guys to follow, so I hope you enjoy. Alright, now these following three materials, the leather glaze, metal solvent, and the clear liquid regent are crucial for the first few steps of this video. Now you're going to want to craft these through alchemy using the following materials. So if you have got them stockpiled up, save them. If not, you're going to want to go out there and gather them or pre-order them. Now first on the list we have the Crogdylos Origin Stone. We're going to go ahead and use simple alchemy here with 25 rumbling earth shard and 25 swaying wind shard to obtain one stone. Now these can be purchased off the market quite easily or if you want to grind it yourself just come along here to Camasilvia and grind these four locations and you're bound to get these pieces quite easily. Alright, second on the list we've got Knockor. Now Knockor can be obtained on the marketplace or you can go ahead and come here to Camasilvia where you can put a worker on Southern Camasilvia or Lake Flonder and they will collect the Knockor for you while you gather all the other pieces. Once you've got enough Knockor you could go ahead and come into the processing tab. Now we're going to be using heating for this. Heating 5 Knockor to create 1 metal uh, Knock Shard. Once we have the Knock Shards we'll use 10 of those to create 1 ingot. Once we have the ingots, we use the metal solvents, as mentioned earlier, with it to create the final crystal, uh, pure not crystal. Next up we have our supreme and soft hard hides. Now you're going to want to start here at the triangle head lizards to gather some lizard hides. This will be used to make hard hides later on, just east of uh, Heidel here. Next up we're going to go north to Sheep Mountain where we're going to gather some sheep hides using tanning as well. Uh, the sheep hides will be used for this supreme soft hides. So you're going to want to gather a couple of hundred of these so that you don't have to come back later on. Alright, once you've got enough materials, you're going to go ahead and start the processing period. So you're going to start with lizard hides to create hard hides. Now 10 of these will equal one hard hide here. And then 10 hard hides will equal one fine hard hide. Now, once you've dried them all up and you've got plenty of hard hides, you're going to go ahead and use shaking. Now, shaking, you're going to use um, three fine hard hides and five uh, leather glaze to create one supreme hard hide. So the hard part here will be getting the leather glaze, of, as mentioned earlier. Alright, first thing you're going to want to do for our pure mithril crystal is come here and order mithril ore. Now, you can either choose to pre-order on all of these or just the ore. I just chose to do the ore for now. Um, Pre-order a thousand of this just in case, you know, somebody sells it while you're um, gathering all your other pieces. Secondly, you're going to want to come here and get a worker from Old Wisdom Tree or Grana, up to you. And connect your nodes all the way up through to the Calc Canyon here, where there is two nodes. They also give you Mithril Ore that you can just get AFK while you're getting all your other items. Now, once you do have the Mithril Ore in your possession, you're going to want to use Heating again. Same as our knot crystal. Heating 5 mithril will get you um, 1 melted mithril shard. Heating 10 mithril shard will get you 1 mithril ingot. And heating 3 mithril ingots with 1 metal solvent will give you your pure crystal for mithril. Alrighty, we are now on our sixth piece for this guide. Now we're going to be needing some rough emeralds and also some coral. Now, once you get some emeralds, you're going to use the grinding function in the processing tab. We'll grind rough emeralds to create our emerald here. And once we receive five emeralds, we'll be able to crush those into, into creating a resplendent emerald. Now, we need both of these emeralds for this. So we're going to use heating now. Heating one emerald with ten coral pieces will give us one green coral. And then once we've received three green coral, we'll use three green coral with one resplendent emerald to create one prairie green coral. It is a bit of a um, time consuming one. So pre-order and buy coral as well as the rough emeralds. Hopefully it takes you about a week to do. Shouldn't be that long. All right, now we're getting more into our active tasks. So for the wind spirit stone fragments, we're gonna wanna come here to Camasilvia. Now, the, 
Their main rotation is here, however there are a couple of rotations here that you can go on Archer and farm, hopefully it's empty. You're going to want to basically hit the big blue bird first and that'll summon all the little ones towards you, making it nice and easy to round them all up. Uh, I would recommend doing this with a loot scroll, it took me about 5 hours of grinding to get it. A lot of people are here getting the potion piece, so you want to be out of here as soon as you can. As you can see, I didn't get any just then, so it might take up to, yeah, 5 to 10 hours, I'd say. Alright, now, second last item is the Karanda's Latent Aura. Now, we need 150 of these bad boys, so start saving them up as soon as you can, visiting Karanda whenever you can, and um, doing that as you go. Second, we need Dark Spirits Greeds. Now you get these from the Rifts, which you do probably every couple of days. Um, as you can see, we need two of these for one Karanda's Late Nora. Now I did trade in a bunch of these, so it sped up the process, but I'd say it'd take about three months to get the total amount needed if you're going casually to Karanda. Alrighty, last but not least, we have our Garmoth Scales. Now, Garmoth Scales, you're definitely going to have to grind for unless you want to spend over six, seven hundred million. Uh, as you can see, they're one million plus each, so you're going to want to pre order on them if there's some available and also grind here in Duven Croon. Now, on average, I was getting about five per hour at each of the grind spots, so if you um, got time to grind and don't want to spend the money, definitely recommend it you also get the pot piece here so it's not a bad idea alrighty now that you've done that and gathered all of the materials needed for the gear you're gonna go ahead and put them all in ulti nova here connect up your nodes this way through to stone tail horse ranch you're then gonna want to uh, purchase the third ranch here and level up your shop to level 3 once you've done that and all your materials are placed in Ulti Nova, they should become available here for you to craft. Once you've crafted the gear, go ahead and chuck it on and enjoy. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. If not, let me know what I could improve on and we'll see you later. Cheers.